continue to pour through what was once a majestic home on Vero School Road. The multi-million dollar mansion reduced to just its pillars yesterday afternoon. The current homeowners tell us a motorcycle that was running in the garage likely caused the fire, and today firefighters remained on scene putting out hot spots. It was no ordinary home. It had a unique history and even hosted some history makers. Our Akeem Ashford goes back to the beginning with the home's original owners. It was his standing joke. He said, 200 years from now, uh, it, the house may not be here, but these pillars will remain. The original owner and designer of the 18,000 square foot home wanted the first thing visitors see to also be the last thing standing. It was, it was so eerie because um, it looked like the house was back under construction because the columns went up first to hold the frame. Jennifer LeBlanc's husband, Patrick LeBlanc, was a well-known Lafayette architect and businessman. He was killed in a plane crash back in 2008. He always said that if he ever did well, that he had a dream house he wanted to build for himself, and this was his dream house. It took LeBlanc five years to design and build the home, finishing it in 2003 at an estimated $5 million. But the house was not only famous for its beauty inside and out, it also served host to former Vice President Dick Cheney. One of the most memorable visits, though, came from former New York Mayor Rudolph Giuliani. We were in the backyard near the pool, and every time he would pause, one of the goats would, would start batting in the back. And he just finally stopped and just, just burst out laughing. She was told about Sunday's fire from a family friend. Her thoughts, though, were primarily with the new homeowners and their safety. Of course, I wanted to make sure that everybody was okay. I knew that there were children in the house and or in the family and he said right away that yes he saw them outside of the